Hi guys, Steve here. On this video, I want to show you how to tame a magmasaur. You'll need to steal its eggs and raise your own babies. So first, I'm going to show you how to get the food to feed the babies. You need to go to the lunar biome and look for glowing rocks. You'll be able to find them everywhere, so don't worry about coordinates. Mine it with a pick and you're looking to farm ambergris. That's the food to feed the babies, and it's the only thing it eats. Some rocks give it, some don't. But with a pick, you'll normally only get one per rock. None from that one. Come on, Ambergris. There you go. Got one. As you can see, it's going to take a while to farm a lot of it by hand. I tried an experiment to see which one was better at farming it, the pick or the hatchet, and it turned out to be the pick. If there's any better method of farming it, I'll let you know in the descriptions below. And yes, it's very dangerous here with everything we're trying to kill you. So make sure you set up well before you even attempt this. I tried three different techniques to steal an egg. Yes, you can get one with a Bloodstalker, but only if you're pro at controlling it. I'm not, I've barely had time to use it, so I'm not very accurate at moving around. It's okay in a big open area, so we can swing from side to side. But all the smaller creatures attack you, so you've got to try and avoid or fight them. But when you go in for an egg and land next to hostiles, it gets a bit frantic when there's no proper ledge to swing up to. Flies come after you. Overhangs that lock you in. If you drop onto lava, it burns and kills you. The Magmasaur shooting fire mortars at you. It all gets a bit frantic, a bit chaotic, and I certainly wouldn't say it was easy. If you're a pro at using them, then you should be okay. But I preferred my other two methods, which I found a lot more easy and controlled. Concentrate. You've got this. The next method I tried is with a fur ox. You can learn how to tame one and how to get high level one on my awesome taming video that I'll link at the end. Give it some element to make sure it's topped up and it stays in big form. Then you want to find a way into the volcano. There's many different entrances all over the place. This one's highlighted by purple crystals. At coordinates 33, 82. Alright, let's go in. Now you can fight your way through everything. Or just simply jump over everything. I'm going to go for that jumping method. Let's show you down here. Show you how dangerous it is. Call them nasties. Dozens of magma sores and lava golems. Right, that one's that pit's a bit too busy. I'll go and show you another one. It seems that the ferox is so large it doesn't aggro the smaller creatures. The hole inside of a volcano is hollowed out, so you can find nests everywhere. Right, drop down. There's two eggs. It's surrounded though. If I drop in I could get mortared from either side. Maybe going back to the first one might be better. It's best to go around and try and find eggs that don't have hostile creatures next to them. Try to avoid the lava golem. Now let's go past it. Right, jump to the centre. There's two eggs. Right, I don't see any nasties around. You're going to have to jump off, grab it. I'll try and grab two quickly. Get back on. Now all the Magmasaurs will try and come at you and kill you. It's a bit like stealing Rock Drake or Wyvern Eggs. Right, I've got to try and get back up again. Jumping on overhang rocks isn't that great on this. But I've put loads of health into it. Just in case I hang around and get a bit crispy. <laughs> I'm not worried yet. As long as they don't get hit when I use giant flame balls. Frantically push. There you go. I'm on flat ground. That was a bit nerve-wracking. Right, let's jump 
out. We've got two eggs. Make a quick exit. I've only had a quick practice on one of these. I'm not an expert yet. I still managed to get the eggs. There we go. Mission successful. What you have to do now is take him to your base and hatch them. But before I do, let me show you how I get an egg on foot if you don't have a fur ox. Going through the purple entrance again. This time we might have to do a bit of fighting. Especially the smaller creatures. Trying to avoid the big ones. Go back, try not to get hit. I've took a long neck to try and aggro the magma saws and the lava golems to one side, then go down, get the egg while well, the nest's free. That's my plan, anyway. Shotgun that. Just wait for it to eat a carcass. In fact, I'll try and avoid fighting. Speed things up a bit. Alright, we have a main pit on the right. As you're small, these rocks seem a lot bigger. That's getting a better advantage point. Right. That place is a little bit too open. I think I'm going to go for one of the different lava pools. Now the volcano erupts every now and then and it'll kill you if you're inside. So make sure you get out fast if it starts up. Right, there's loads of little ones there. Let's go this side. Try and bypass them. Right, out of aggro range. Oh, there's an egg down there. Can I go around the left side? Alright, let's try a grappling hook. See if that... Oh, that's long enough for reaches. Alright, let's see where that nest... What's that? See where that nest is. I want a safe place to go down. And I'm checking that there's no nasties around. There's a bat. I can deal with that in the air. Switch to my shotgun. Take things nice and calmly. Lay myself down. Safe height. Get black pearls here. Farm red crystal. Alright, shoot to a higher rock. Drag myself across. Still safe. Yeah, try and find a nest that's abandoned like this. So you can grab the egg and get the hell out. Quickly. Quickly. There we go. It hasn't got the longest range on this. Disconnect. Look around, make sure nothing's after me. Disconnect and then reshoot before you fall down. Disconnect and shoot. Oh, there's fire behind me. I think you're shooting me. To 
disconnect and shoot to the higher uh, ground. One last time, I'm on flat ground, should be safe. Switch to shotgun. Now, let's try and get the hell out of here and just bypass everything. The spiders, take them out if you see them. You don't want to be slowed down with the web. I'm running. Uh oh. Oh, got stung. I really hope I don't pass out. There's just one sting, should be okay. Watching my torpor. Run for it. Right, I've got an egg. Is that gonna. Yeah, it's trying. That's gonna be coming after me. Oh, singe my ass. Keep running. I'll be fine. Take a blood pack if I need it. I'm almost out. Didn't even see what level the egg was. And I am out. Yes, made it. Alright. That's the hard part done. Now let's hatch some babies. Alright, we're back home. And I've set up nine air cons. I'm going to put the egg inside. Let's see if that works. Egg incubation. Yep, that's going down. So you only need nine air con. However, I like things nice and symmetrical and neat. So I'm going to add a few more to this side. I can make a nice little square box for it. There we go. Right, so it's going to take half an hour or just over for that to incubate and hatch. Come on, hurry up. In fact, while I'm waiting, I might as well get the other egg out. Stick that on top. Is that going to work? Yeah, that's working as well. So we have to stick a few around there. Good. Okay, that's going to take half an hour, so back in a bit. My little babies are about to hatch. Let's go and check on them. Along three, two, here it comes. I'm gonna be a daddy. Daddy Nooblets. Oh, isn't it cute with a giant flamey head? Let's claim it and call it hot stuff. Right, what's the full range on these? You gonna move or is it stuck underground? Can't really tell. Now there's wrong information going about that you can feed it meat. So to prove a point, are you hungry for that little fella? Of course you're not. You're a Magnusaur, aren't you? And you don't eat meat. Now let's skip forward a bit until that one's hatched. And there's my two little babies. I oh, can enable smelting already. Better put them on disabled wandering. Right, best start feeding them. Right, I've got my amber gris that I farmed earlier. I'm not sure how fast it'll eat this stuff. It weighs quite a lot. Let's drag it in and see. You gonna eat that? Not hungry yet? Can't carry any more at the moment. Right, I'm gonna watch one of them and see how long it takes to eat. This food's almost down to 200. Oh, it's that one. There you go. It was hungry after all. The amber gris lasts longer if you stick it in a refrigerator. It'll last over a day. These are going to take forever to grow up. So I'm going to skip forward until they're done and then show you what it can do. This is what the little fellas grow up to be. Doesn't it look nice? I'll show you around it so you can get a better look. Looks good. Put a saddle on it. Have a look at a saddle. Quite good 
design on the saddle. Show you around again. Right. Oh, it's not too slow. Well, it moves the same speed as a Quetzal. Right, can harvest rock. Switch to HUD off at the moment. Harvest metal. Turn HUD back on. trees and thatch as well. Obsidian, metal, stone. It's like one of the main harvesters. I'll put it in the health for now because I don't want it to die. But it looks like I'm going to have to spec weight into it if it wants to carry stuff. Left mouse button to attack. Right mouse button to do the fire mortar. If you hold it down for a short time it does a small one. If you hold it down longer it does a bigger one. Let's get rid of that junk so I can move again. I'll flame that. It's got an AOE effect, yep. A bit toasty dino. Flame up closer. Doesn't seem to damage me. Me in AOE. Right, I form metal, so I'm going to get off it and turn smelting on. Well, it looks cool, doesn't it? It's coming out of its pipes and its mouth. It's had a hot curry. It's going to have ring sting in the morning. It's not smelted anything yet. Let's stay in this window. Oh, there you go. One. I suppose it's doing it free. It's not using any stamina or anything. Smelting, that's good. Can just keep it on doing that. I'll keep in this window. Let's see how long it takes the second one. There you go. Okay, not bad. Not as good as an industrial smelter, but it will do. And it walks slower when it's in smelting mode. So I'll just turn that off. Right, let's try it in water. See if it can extinguish it. Right, that should be deep enough. So I can't use my fireball anymore. I have to stand on something to be able to do that. Like a little island. Still left mouse attack. Let's get back in the water. Nope, can't do my fireball. Let's go off and try the smelter mode. No, it's not showing up either. Okay, so if you're standing in water, you can't fireball or smelt. However, what you can do is swim in lava and it won't harm the Magmasaur or you riding it. That's hot stuff. You can dive down as well. I suppose you could hide under the lava, but you need oxygen for you and the Magmasaur. That's a bit screw on my eyes. Go to the surface. So its stamina is slowly going down when I'm inside the lava as well. I hope this video has helped you get your very own magma saw guys and if it has please consider subscribing if you're not already. People have been watching my videos for years but only 20% of you have actually subscribed to my channel. If everyone subscribed who watched my videos regularly I'd have millions of subscribers. So if you're new or a long term viewer is not subscribed yet please do so as it will help me out with YouTube and also click the bell or notifications so you don't miss out on any of my live streams or videos and like, comment and share with your friends. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to check out my other videos I'll link at the end. Goodbye!